Hey everyone, finish watching the next episode of Power Rangers RPM, Rain. The Rangers show Dylan around their base, the garage. Dr. K communicates through their computer screen. Dylan is apprehensive, but agrees to try out training. He excels in each test, but Scott, the Red Ranger, is still not on board with him joining the team. Vengex, meanwhile, has created a new amphibious attack bot. It's designed to infiltrate Corinth through its water system. Summer takes Dylan on a tour of Corinth. Dylan insists he isn't the best choice to be a ranger. He has at least one memory, as we learn here. Someone depended on him, and he failed to save them. He watches some kids play in artificial rain and rethinks his choice. He tells the rangers he'll join on one condition. The condition is that Ziggy is freed from prison. At the garage, Dylan successfully morphs for the first time. We see Ziggy is there, and he insists on taking pictures. Later, Dylan has a nightmare. We see him holding someone's hand, but they slip away. He wakes up and goes to Ziggy to ask if there's a way out of Corinth. Ziggy tells him they open a vent for propane gas, but it's only open for two seconds at a time. At that moment, the amphibious attack bot is detected. Dr. K sends the rangers to deal with it, and Scott discovers Dylan took his car. The rangers fight through the Vengex foot soldiers, the grinders. The attack bot escapes and grows giant. The rangers are surrounded on all sides by the grinders. At the garage, Ziggy sees over the monitors what's going on. He contacts Dylan. Dylan is about to leave the city, but turns around to help the team. Dylan takes on the grinders, while the others form the Megazord and battle the attack bot. They defeat all the bad guys, but Scott is still mad at Dylan about taking his car. One of the really nice things with RPM so far is that it takes its time. It's still pretty fast-paced, it's Power Rangers after all, but compared to the previous seasons, there's a far greater focus on building characters this time. Another element that stands out is the music. It's a very postmodern kind of feel, definitely unique for Power Rangers. The scenes of Dylan going through testing are all scored like something out of, I don't know, bones? All the shows I can think to compare the music to are definitely not kids shows. RPM is quite the anomaly. We've come so far from Ninja Storm and Dino Thunder recycling the same stock music every episode. We get a few clues into Dylan's past here, but it's still very much a mystery. The RPM garage is introduced, and I like that the uniforms are displayed in the background. It reminds me a bit of Zeo's command center. This episode also introduces Dr. K's running gag of being offended when people call the ranger suits spandex. Surprisingly, Tanaya 7 doesn't make an appearance. I thought she'd at least be bumbling around with Vengex's other cronies, Crunch and Shifter. The amphibious attack bot talks a teensy bit. From what I remember, most RPM monsters of the day don't talk, they just make robot noises. The amphibious attack bot was voiced by Peter Ford, who previously voiced Porcupongo and Jungle Fury. Another great episode, I'm hoping we get to learn a bit more about the other rangers as the show goes on, as well as Dylan in the future. So that's it for this one, hope you enjoyed it. See ya!